Archer, where is Hunbold? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. See you. the days we spent here together. <laughs> Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbold. Come, sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... Contemplate... Contemplate the view. Let's have a drink, to the memory of your father. Here we go, a sailing among the leaves so green. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. Hey. <laughs> 
He and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat. But it's the wrong end! <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humour, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor -ful, why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! <laughs> Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh. Quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us.
That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunvald. And twice failed! We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes! Including my dear Swanborough! My lady love! Come! Let us hurry away! I'm serious, Hunvald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear! Follow me! Unwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. You really have been courting a Dane. It's a side of you I didn't expect. People say we're an odd couple. I do not care much what people say. As every boat needs an anchor, every man needs his swan burrow. The light of my life. Eivor has been my champion as I stake my claim in Lincolnshire. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunvald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunvald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. 
come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. Looking for someone? My husband? He was not supposed to leave home on his own. I fear he has fallen asleep somewhere. Fallen asleep? Yes. A curse he has carried his whole life. At any moment his eyes roll back and his body simply collapses. Dangerous to be out there on his own. Do you think he would have gotten far? His bag is gone. I fear he may have taken it to go fruit picking down south near the old ruins. Pjarti, where are you? I will keep an eye out for him. Thank you. He snores, if that helps. Follow my voice, Pjarti! Eivor, I'm pleased you came. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat.
You said you had something to show me when we last uh, spoke. What did you yes, mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. It's a beautiful weapon, finely crafted. Thank you. I thought you might like it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt plan for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We have fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor. my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your... Uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herefriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Alfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely! The bear's bear should be nearby. Wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not a bear. Wolves. Wolves everywhere. And not a bear in sight. Thank <laughs> you. 
Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! My God, help me with this! Where is this? I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny mercies don't frighten me! <laughs> The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shire Moot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Careful! 